Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So last episode we picked up a couple of clan Omni mechs. And let's go to the mech bays real quick because I've done a few things between episodes. So we've got these guys kind of stripped now. I pulled all the gear off them. i got to figure out what loadouts we're going to go with. Um, but I definitely want to get them into play sooner rather than later, I think. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do. So all the like weapons I pulled off and but everything else I left on, like the e-cooling and all that stuff still on there. Uh, you notice here now the archers refit. So let's have a look at this mech. And it's basically the classic LRM archer. Um, it's really, really super accurate. So I'm, I'm really hoping to take this out today and try it out. Uh, we've got 12 tons of ammo. Or sorry, 12 turns of ammo for an LRM-80 loadout. Uh, fire control system Arm Artemis Clan with plus one indirect fire accuracy, plus one accuracy for the enhanced imaging and sensors tracker, plus two accuracy for the LRM. So it should be pretty accurate overall. Nova CEWS and exchanger to keep it nice and cool. A couple heat sinks, case two of course. We don't have any case in the legs, I wasn't able to fit it in here. Um, this might be one of those things where we drop these to LRM-15s. Maybe put a couple of meteor lasers in or something, I don't know, but I want to run this guy just to see how he works out. It would be nice if we had swarm ammo, but we don't. So it's actually running relatively cool overall. So it'll just be one of those mechs that just stands back and shoot. Now I didn't add any any structure here. Um, that's one of the things we could have done. Um, but once again, you add that, then you have no space, and then what? Right? It, it, you know. Anyway, that being said, it's... Uh, you know, the heavier the mechs get, the more you more problems you have with space, right? That's just the way it is. So, yeah, that's this archer. We're going to take it out in the first mission today. Um, and then the Blood Asp, I decided to refit it. Now, we were talking about the Ultra 20 build isn't bad, um, but I think Vista Dorn, you know, the analysis was that the Black Knight and the Grasshopper are going to be in close. And if we bring in the... Um, the blood asp in close to it's going to end up being targeted because it's slow it's easier to hit and it's going to have to take a lot of punishment so if we don't put a lot of damage reduction on it uh it's just going to be open for tons of targeting so if we've got the black knight and the grasshopper in close i thought maybe a longer range build might be might be appropriate and i tried playing around with a few things ultra auto cannon fives things like that uh but i Ultimately, I just settled on this build, and we'll see how it works out today. We can change it, but it's just a couple of ER PPCs, a couple of ER larges, and a couple of ER mediums with the weapon mounts. Uh, a lot of pro double heat sinks. Um, I'm on the lookout for a uh, plus four E cooling system so I can pull some of these out of here. Um, but we got case two in both torsos just to uh, balance it out. But fire control system improved for clan, enhanced imaging and sensors tracker giving us some bonuses, GTS weapons giving us bonuses to hit. Arm mounts giving us bonuses to hit. Some tags, which will eventually give us bonuses to hit. La integrated laser AMS system, um, which will help us out once we're targeted. So I think overall, this is probably a, an improved loader. It's just going to stand back and fire. Um, the Ultra 20 build wasn't so bad, but I think that's one of those things where you need to get it on a fast-moving mech that's got some good evasion. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try this out, see how it works. I'll, I'll probably change it up again, but... That's the beauty of having these the Omni Max is it's so it costs you C bills to change stuff around, sure, but th it happens so quickly that you can just quickly load new stuff in, which is great. So that's that. And that's all I really did. But we did move. If I look at the star map here. We did move systems. We were over here, uh, right here at Caesar at Caesarea. Um, but we jumped over here because look at this, Ghost Bear has made its way finally to the inner sphere um, and they are pretty much destroying the yarn folk here yarn folk were doing a uh, half decent job of taking a few planets here but they weren't doing I mean a whole lot uh, but now ghost bears in the inner sphere so we're gonna hit these guys and try and cut them off um, from attacking the yarn folk I mean we'll do what we can it's a four skull planet uh, there's not a lot of missions here unfortunately if we look at the contracts there's a couple here that we can take um, yeah, there's not really much we can do here. There's a lot of Jade Falcon and Ghost Bear missions on this planet, but not a lot of, uh, of, uh, Draconis Combine. But we will take Retribution first thing first. Uh, it's against, uh, Ghost Bear. And it's basically just a battle. Straight up battle. 
so we're going to go straight out like this. It's a three and a half skull, which is probably a good uh, good thing. So it'll give us a chance to play around with what we have. Now, Hot Dam was running the Cataract last time. Uh, I'm going to pull that out of service, and I'm going to bring the Archer in. I just want to see how it's going to function. Now, she's not probably the per perfect pilot for this for this mech, but uh, she's good enough to at least run it. And she also was able to gain the Warlord ability between episodes when we traveled planets, so that's kind of good too. So let's uh, deploy this Lance and get it done. Okay. They'll probably have reinforcements. What's up, boss? But let's go check out what we got. On my way. Double time. Hopefully it's just one lance. We can get in and out. Engaging target. Pick up some half decent salvage I if we can. Wow. Oh. I see you to light that up. You give you something hot to run through. Got it. Yeah, liking this blood asp. Definitely lots of movement. This should be nice. I mean, this should be a nice loadout. We'll see how it works. I'm running a um, pirate mad cat with the same loadout on uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. Uh, hmm, let's get over here. Get a little closer with arid extra dry. They probably have reinforcements. Sounds like vehicles coming up. Trace. Storm Wolf, huh? Um. Standing by. Let's see what they do here. Shadowhawk. Mongoose. Eh. Well, it is three and a half skulls. I mean. Yeah, of course you do. Receiving you. All right, let's not forget to turn that off. Let's get eyes on these guys. Ah, uh, what do we got down here? Another Shadowhawk, Epona, Tank Destroyer. Okay. Um, uh, sure, it's fire in the Storm Wolf, why not? Doesn't really matter who we shoot at. Yes, Commander. Alright, interested to see here. 85%. 23, ah well. Looks like this guy's getting a fistful of, fistful of dollars. Fire Okay, and this chance to hit, yeah, even better. Sure. That's generally a pretty good loaded, I gotta say. Two RPPCs, two larges, two mediums. The good thing about it too is this, if you're targeting to pull off specific limbs and stuff, the variance in weapon damage can be the difference between destroying a leg and a torso or just destroying the leg. So, Orders. but that being said, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's just go this route. See you. Mongoose is what? It's a light mag, 25 tons. This is 40 ton medium? Okay. Okay. That's right. We'll get one or the other. I don't know which one yet. But we do want to try and maximize some salvage off these guys. Getting some more clan gear. 
it's sad, you know, and I, and I knew it before I even came to the Inner Sphere. I said, you know, if you're a clan player, what's the point of coming to the Inner Sphere? Other than taking planets and pushing towards Terra, the salvage that you get is so inconsequential compared to the salvage you get for on a clan world, right? So we don't need... Oh, of course. We don't need to have the supercharger on for this. There's no point in having it on, increasing the chance of failure. So yeah, as I was saying, it's, there's like, you know, there was no, uh, if you want salvage, you're not going to get it coming to the Inner Sphere. So the Inner Sphere players have the advantage of constantly fighting the clans and gaining lots of clan gear, which we're actually seeing now with with um, the Night Witches here. We got lots of clan gear, right? And it's completely now the opposite with my clan, uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. Their, their clan gear is just beginning to disappear because you start losing it off your mechs and there's no replacements. There's no easy replacements for it, right? The random salvage you get is all inner sphere junk, so it's not like you can be replacing it with anything. Alright. Yeah, see, we can't even see this guy, and there's still really good chances to hit. Okay, but we didn't. We did not hit very well. What's this guy? Clan Pike Support Vehicle. Um, let's wind this up to six, because why not? And we'll uh, Warlord it. See if we can get some more damage off on this guy. So like I said, I did toy around with the rack build on that mech. But once again, it's the rack plus all of the ammo. It just started eat down, eating up space. So, I don't know. Commander? Let's get to here. Acknowledged. Chance to hit, 80%, pretty freaking good. Aye. Now we need swarm ammo. Once we get swarm ammo, those will be those threes will be like fours or fives. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Okay. Standing by. Maybe we get an engine off this guy. Oh, or maybe we don't get anything because you don't step on him. You're getting lax. Cannot be doing that. See, look at it. I mean... And still we're missing, though. Really? Enemy max. Critical damage detected. Commander. Got it. Sure. Copy that. Wow. Come on, Bubba. What's up? Is that the standard shot of Hawk loadout? AC5. No, LB10X, two streaks, and a medium laser. That's actually not that bad. I remember the old Shadowhawk loadout. It was like LRM5, SRM2, AC5, and a medium laser. It's like a whole lot of nothing. Didn't know what kind of mech it wanted to be. Jesus, that guy's running all over the place. 
He's panicking. I need to go home. I don't think you understand. I need to go home. Hammer this guy. See ya. All right, and then there's four. So we do, we're just missing one vehicle. I have no idea what it is. At least it doesn't have an arrow or a long tom. It would have fired by now. Well, maybe not the arrow, but the long tom definitely would have fired. Trying to figure out what they want to do. If we can finish this one up quick, there's a, a priority mission, one planet over. Uh, I th it's defending a base, I think, against Ghost Bear. I think we'll take that one. Guy's not moving again. What we'll do is we'll get like, uh, we'll do like an energy build and uh, Black Knight loadouts to take with us. Like, so we'll take the Marauder, the Cataphract, the. Uh, Blood Asp and the Black Knight. I think that'll be good for defense. Okay. Second time's a charm. 99% chance. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. What do we got here? That's the Pike? What's this guy? Oh, second one. Ultra 2s, huh? Yeah, we better take care of that guy. Wow, that's pretty good hitting. That hit something good. Pretty good hitting. There's Megasaur's target. You're just pissing her off, dude. You're just pissing her off. We're going to target the other one because then we can split missile fire if we don't kill this one. Okay, we've hit the internals somewhere. We'll LRM 40 each of those guys, I think. I think we should be able to move within range. I think we should be able to move within range. Uh, yeah, we're good for indirect. It's fine. Not quite as good as indir in indirect, but that's fine. All right. There we go. Maybe we got lucky on this one. Well, he moved, so I mean, that's probably why. Cannot get that guy. Oh. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Wow. He's taking it like a champ. Punch this guy. Punch him right in the face. Yeah, don't even show us. Brutal. Brutal horrific death. Brutal horrific death. Can we... Oh, we can. There we go. On the move. That should do it. I copy. There we go. Vehicle down. All right, let's see what we can get. Mission successful. All right. Contracted payment increased by twenty percent. Barely took any damage. I think it was just the uh, the Black Knight that took some damage. Yeah, I don't really want any of that stuff. Um, Medium improved heavy. We've got a few of these. We've got four of them. Ultra twos. I mean, that could be another thing we do is build a massive ultra two build out on the uh, on the blood asp. Eh. Got two of these still. Four of them now. Never mind. 
uh, clan exchanger. We've still got two. See what I mean? We're like we're rolling in stuff now. I'm well, not rolling in it, but we got enough. Um, double heat sink, patchwork materials, possibility. We got six half ton patchwork materials. Wow. Hmm. Ultra autocan twenty ammo. We got nine of them. Ultra twenty doubles. Take that. Um, I don't know. ERPPC, let's take that. I don't know. We could always sell the Ultra 20. How much is this worth? Not as much as the Ultra 20. Could always take the exchangers. Well, here's a heat bank. Let's take that. All right. Well, we came for salvage. We got some salvage. We got a couple of Ultra 2s. How many of these do we have now? Nine. Cool. Um, no, ten. Sorry, we've got three of them. Okay. Okay. Wow, Wolf's doing a lot of work, eh? So, nothing in repairs, really. Let's have a look now at the map. I don't think we really... Uh, I don't think we did much. Well, we reduced it to 91%. Not bad. Creator didn't get any influence, though. But no big deal. Uh, we could take... Let's just see if anything we populated. I, I doubt it, but... Yeah, nothing we can really take. So we could take the garrison duty. Sick him, eh? Let's have a look where that is. Got a feeling it's just... Oh, it's south, really. Hongor... Sick him, really. Hmm. Who's here? Want to head there? That's a three skull. I kind of want to take that base defense though. Who is it against? Um, local pirates. 23 days to get there though. I don't know if I want to take 23 days to get there for that. I mean it would be before the end of the month but this is only 12 days away. Let's jump over to Salford. Let's go head over there. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. We could take missions for, for one clan against the other. Um... Just want to make sure we. I don't think we took any uh, components now. Just got to make sure because you know how I am. There's our financial report. Thank you. I was very prompt with that. All right, seven days. So let's hope there is creative missions there. If not, we can take missions from for one clan against another. Or for the local government against the clans. Um, visit the store, eh? We don't actually control the planet, so how can we visit the store? Sure, man, whatever. Whatever. See, I can buy an e-cooling plus four, but I would rather just pick one up off the battlefield. I don't want to spend a million for it. I mean, I guess if we get a Klein XL engine, we, I can just go ahead and do it. Um, AC-20 safe. Well, 24 shots, though. Um, all right, well, let's have a look at the contracts real quick. 
Think there was something from around four and a half, five skulls. Why are they so low? Come on. It's going to go right back here. Okay, well, untouchable. Target it. No, I'm doing a target acquisition. Are you kidding me? Hullavid propaganda. Defend a base against Ghost Bear. It's a five skull, though. Who knows what the hell they're going to have? Ah. Uh, that's going to be too easy. Heart of Darkness is where. Sikkim. Why is everyone going to Sikkim, for Christ's sake? All right, let's try Hollowvid propaganda. Run that salvage up. See what we get out of this. Um, and we're bringing in the cataphract. Um, yeah, because of accuracy and ammo and everything. I think we're probably good here. So let's deploy this and see what we can do. All right, guys, here we go. I crashed, actually, before we even got to the loading screen here. So I had to restart it and everything. So here we go. Uh, I don't feel confident about this one. Receiving you. I just don't. Um, I just do not feel confident. Just got to make sure we don't uh, overextend here. We know where the enemies come from. So, and I hope we get these turrets up. Oh, it looks like we got a railgun turret here. It's a sniper turret. LRM, ah, uh, it's a bad, this, uh, if this was an LRM turret, that would be better. Um, uh, what's the last one? Where is it? It's usually like right in here, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Camouflage LRM. Ah, shit. Okay. Um, we're going to need to kill these guys on this side fast, I think. So let's get out here. But behind the hills... What are you going that way for? I'm receiving you. Acknowledged. Okay. Commander. Commander. Buster now. Okay. Okay, it's vehicles. At least one, two vehicles. Okay. All right, now do I need my supercharger? No, I don't. 74, huh? 84, 88. On my way. Shit, we got a mech over there. Here we go. Oh, for Christ's sake. Vapor Eagle with low armor, Arctic Cheetah with low armor, okay. Okay, not so bad. Yeah, they'll mostly like most likely target the vehicles to start. I don't feel so bad here. Um, there we go, a nice solid, uh, solid line. Let's, um, Make sure we hammer this guy really, really hard. Okay. Ready for orders. 
on it. And I am going to save my rack on this guy. Okay, I got lucky there. Uh, the reason why I'm saving the rack is I want to be able to go all out against the reinforcements because I don't know what, how much they're going to weigh. And these guys aren't that tough. Speedy though, not tough. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do I even talk? You burn through the side of this guy. Please and thank you. Thank you. Well, at least our turrets are up. Uh, we do have two LRM turrets, so it's kind of bad. We're going to have to watch our, our lower side here. We'll have to watch this side. That's in a, what's it got in it though? Oh, it's got two thumper artillery. We just need to stay out of its way. That's good though, because it can hammer this side. Or even this side, if it can get a half decent view on people. Ooh, I thought he was going to shoot me in the back there for a second. Christ, don't thumper it, whatever you do. Okay, so Megasaur is going to kill this guy. If we can get him from the front, it's the optimal way to do it. Hopefully, if it's got an XL, XL engine, we can save that. Unless we do like a thousand points damage or something. That puts her back relatively in good position. The reinforcement's coming in a second. Uh, let's attack this guy straight out, and then we'll back up, firing everything. Nicely done. Wow, it's like one of the few um, base defense missions that I was able to wipe out all of the the uh, first vanguard within moments of them arriving. Okay, let's get the rotary up and turn it up to six. Kind of glad I saved the warlord. We're going to need to let them go first. I'm picking up a new sensor of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. I love how they kind of bluff you. If you've never played this map before, they kind of bluff you by showing you the drop, the drop ship back here. And if these vehicles weren't spotted... Ah, crap. Freaking vehicles. It's all vehicles. It's just not fair how they get to go first like that. They start off with ridiculously good initiative and it's like, now, now what? I can't do anything. Can't do anything about it. Like, even if I was standing right down where they dropped in, they could still just destroy the buildings, no problem. Yes, Commander. Alright, supercharger up. Alright, what else we got down here? A Godzilla. Of course we do. Because what else would it be? Firing on top. Negative damage. Waiting for orders. Well, it's a good thing he's got reduced armor. Location okay, is this the Arbiter? It is. Raptor. Exterminator. Not so bad in Athena. Go on this guy and fire. 
Wow. So bad. Good thing Megasaurus got lots and lots of uh, evasion there. As much as I love to have Godzilla, like lots of Godzilla parts, I think she's going to have to uh, berserker it and kill it in one shot. I think it would be really difficult to do. Um, if it was fully armored. Okay, let's get over here. And it's fine, the armor. See, it's so much better to chance to hit with this thing. With lasers, it's so much better. So they've only, we've got two buildings left, eh? No, yeah. They gotta take two more down. Ooh. Your AMS isn't working, buddy. Wonder if that thumper will try and target the, the uh, Godzilla. Of course, if it's going to hit anywhere, it's going to hit the head, right? <sighs> Where else would it hit? Puma hasn't moved yet, that's why. Going to take a, uh, a pot shot, maybe we get lucky. That looked close, but not close enough. Okay, got his leg. Nice. We'll clean that guy up next turn. Crap, Megasaur took the head hit. Now she's going way back behind everybody. At least she's got all that evasion, though. What are you doing, you sneaky little bastard? I love the writing here. Cool. Such great detail and such small models, you know? When you zoom in on them, they're pretty cool looking. But it really feels like you're, pl I, I don't want to say like you're feeling play playing like you're playing tabletop, but it's very similar to that. Like it's like you're playing with 170 second scale uh, toy soldiers. All right, what are you up to, buggy? Ow! You little shit. I'm here. <sighs> Let's try it. I. Wow. Sure, don't, just, you know, whatever. Do whatever. Let's get over here, maybe they'll shoot for us. Hopefully they leave Megasaur alone. They've got a lock on me. Of course they do. Um. Yeah, sure. If he wants to give it to us, we'll take it. Wow. Both PPCs missed. Yes, 
Commander. Can you please dial it up to 11 and shoot this guy off the map? Wow, this guy's almost completely shredded. Uh, let's get rid of him. Just to make sure. Tango down. Uh, Godzilla still has to go. It's the only mech that I'm really worried about right now. Well, the Marauder is well down here. But the Marauder hasn't been targeted by anybody. So most, most likely it'll move forward and go after a base or a turret or something. Or a vehicle. I don't mind playing base defense missions, but... I don't know, I just kind of find them a little bit unrealistic. Because really what they would do is you'd, you'd get the mechs taking on mechs and the vehicles would just move in and target the buildings. Okay, good. They went for what I wanted them to go for. I'm taking some serious hits. Yeah, you're supposed to. It's to save Megasaur from losing her head. Uh, yeah. So they could easily win just just target the building, right? Ready for orders. Um, let's turn off the supercharger. I want I think maybe we turn on the DNI. Get the extra little 10%. I think we want to go from here. Stay in the trees. Yeah. Let's do that. Just don't miss. There he goes. Okay, Marauder's next. TSM's off, I'm not worried about that though. So the main threat's down. I was expecting a lot more um, heavily armed mechs. That guy's pretty heavily armed. Warning. Armor low. It's a freaking Athena, man. But we got all our turrets still to go. Crap, you hit me. <sighs> okay, well, at least hot damn goes. Um, I think we need to go against the Puma. 575. 3, 6, I think the Puma is probably the better of the two to kill. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. What? We got Case in there. Standing by. Coordinates received. Alright, Warlord's up. Let's hammer this guy. So I guess case doesn't protect against injury. We're down our proto double heat sink now too. Screw you, asshole. What's up, boss? Um.
Let's get this guy the hell out of here. Roger. See ya. Have a seat. Mech destroyed. Okay, we go on 14. I think this guy's going before us, which is bad news. Bad news for our torso. That's the one torso we need to keep. <sighs> Come on. You can do it. So this guy's is, is this guy gone already? I think he has. No, maybe he hasn't. Well, okay, so DNI cockpit should still be fine, right? Yeah, totally fine. Totally fine. Backstab. Here it comes, folks. No legs. There we go. Target eliminated. Cleaning up the back line. Got four left now. We got Athena parts, don't we? I'm pretty sure we do. Because that's an archer. Right? I'm pretty sure we have Athena parts. I think it was the Apollo I was thinking of that's 50 tons. But this is a 70 ton version. Just don't fall down, man. Yeah. He's staying targeting the buildings. I'm showing minor damage. We're going down though. This guy's going to target us. Ah, oh, man. Hope they got proto double heat sinks. We're going to need to take them. Ow. I think I'll just uh, I'm just gonna take a I'm just gonna sit down here, guys. It's a little tired. Detecting mech warrior injury. Just a little bit tired. Just a little bit tired. Don't block my path. Come on, shoot somebody you can kill. Yep, not feeling so good. Battle mech operational. They block these vehicles block my escape route. Okay, so that's my right side that I have. So I have to be no. Still gonna see me though, no matter where I go here. Let's hope we get lucky. Alright, did some good damage. Let's give this guy a target. How do you miss with 96% chance to hit with the PPC? Like, honestly. <sighs> Let's 
Screw you. Was that a friggin' head hit? Okay. Nice. One more for the trash heap. Feel good about this. God damn it. I think I'll just have a seat. Yeah, you're fucked now, buddy. Just fire on him. Gotta get the hits. Let's get away from that friggin' Athena. Go for the head, get the leg, because why not? Ah, uh, man. I'm here. See if we can get this guy. Let's go CT on him. Going down, okay. Critical hit, Commander. Mega Shore should be able to clear up that vehicle. <sighs> Hopefully Sunflower can finish on this exterminator. I think I'm blocking him, I don't think he can melee me. Hunter Black says he runs around me and melees me, though. Yep. You want to see what a melee mech looks looks like? This is what a melee mech looks like. One 
on the target. Commander. So annoying. Acknowledged. How much I can do about that though? CT please. Wow. Yeah, don't know what I could have done about that. Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> Nothing worse than adding insult to injury, eh? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Babiag is out for 82 days. We don't get anything for that. Wow. Oh, painful. <sighs> well, at least we didn't lose the blood asp. <laughs> See, that was a mission that we could have definitely benefited from the double Ultra 20 loadout. But I, the energy build was I thought was going to be a better run. I don't know don't even know what to say I'll leave it to you guys to say it <laughs> I have no idea uh, let's bring it up to the top at least we can start getting it fixed all right I'm gonna leave the episode there guys I hope you enjoyed it oh man really anyway <laughs> if you like the episode drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and you can also drop any hateful comments in the comment section down below and until next time we'll see you later <laughs>